everyone into all trailers. North Korea uh, fired two missiles yesterday. We still have unrest in Hong Kong. Uh, the situation um, around Trump's impeachment inquiry uh, is escalating, is adding a lot of pressure. And then on the other side, we had Boris Johnson um, being poised to uh, offer a final uh, Brexit deal. The thing is that a couple of his proposals were leaked before his speech, which is today. And to be honest, um, they haven't really been uh, accepted by, uh, by the um, community, let's just say. Now, but the worst thing was, was following RBA's cut for 25 basis points, we had a very, very sharp U.S. manufacturing contraction and that is now adding on to fears of a global economic gloom and of recession. So it's very, very critical to see what's happening with gold. And while we're at it, we're going to see what's going on with the oil as well, because oil has been affected by new um, sentiments, new rhetoric uh, around the trade war, as Mr. Trump seems to be taking a harder stance against China. Uh, on the calendar today, we are expecting the ADP and also the EIA crude oil stock exchange following the API yesterday, which was apparently good, but it doesn't matter as long as trade wars are lingering. Starting with uh, gold, <clears throat> our, my view remains unchanged. Uh, we still move uh, within this um, impulse to the upside as we identified that as an expanding flood. It looks like to me you had wave one, we had wave two, we have wave three, four, and we're going to have another wave, wave five, to complete this expanded flood correction. And once we get to 1445, this could be a very good buy zone that is going to actually see prices moving up uh, to complete <coughs> wave three, one second to complete indeed yes wave three of this uh, uh, of this uh, impulsive move to the upside uh, which is going to be a cycle now it could be that the first wave is here second here and third will be further up despite uh, where those end um, it seems to be <clears throat> it seems to be uh, a case that once we cross above at the 1557 level, we should be looking for fresh highs to be reached uh, on gold. Now, we also um, um, talked about this potentially being an ABC instead of an 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, if that was the case, then it means that we're really looking at an impulsive move right now. But that does really look impulsive. That is going to take prices lower, and we're looking at uh, this, of course, if that was an ABC, it would be looking this to become num number uh, wave one, then wave two, three, four, and five. But this is, although still a possibility, it's unlikely to happen. Of course, our uh, validation, invalidation would be the 1444. If we get here and we start moving higher, then this is where the expanded flat ended, completed. That would validate this uh, as a good opportunity to the upside. Now, on oil, crude oil, um, I've changed my view, okay? So I'm a little bit bearish now. So I see this as part of one, two, and wave three. This is part of wave three, okay? We've had the first move to the downside. We completed wave one with the uh, truncated five. We had a complex, an ABC with a, uh, minor complexity over here, and this is where intermediate wave two ended. And from there, we're looking at this bin one, two, three, four, and five. This is where three intermediate is going to end. Then we're gonna have four and wave five. So we're really looking at the first stop being around 50-58, the previous uh, low. We want that to break so we can complete wave three, then move up and break below um, to complete this um, a downside move of this uh, wave three cycle. Okay, so this is also for the oil. So I'm a little bit more bearish as compared to last time um, because the prices moved back within this uh, 
triangle that we have detected last time, right? So we had this breakout, but it proved out to be a false one. Now we could see prices stopping over here and then going up again, although unlikely to be a case, it's still a scenario, but I'm more leaning towards uh, the first scenario, as I explained, uh, which means that this would be, all this wave would be part of um, wave three. Okay, I wanna thank you for watching and I wanna uh, wish you a good trading day.